and we saw that yesterday in his match um, against Gamal, where he, he, he had really no stress or issues on court. He just just got on with it, and yeah, it was a very disciplined performance. So, and he's, he's also had some really good results in the past past few few months and seasons, and making some more appearances in this this level of event. But um, Kandra's got such a wealth of experience as well, and he's going to really relish the fact that this is a this is a home crowd. Well, it looks like um, Yannick Dahomey has got Dimitri Steinman in his corner, he's sat there with Major Harris. Steinman, of course, is his Time. Uh, Swiss colleague. He came through in his match today, Steinman. And they have played once before, these two. Kandra Who's coming serving? through in a, in a best of three match, actually, in Grasshopper Cup Thank last you. year. Two love, that was. But it's pretty long. It's 29 minutes. It's long for, for just two games. Yeah, it is. I also think they... I, I would be, wouldn't be surprised if they've come across each other in European team events. Absolutely. Well, your referee for this match, the final match of the day, will be Nico Barbo. That's a that's a power pose, isn't it? Um, that? Miguel Galantz will be in the video ref seat. Yeah, there was something. Uh, Thirty ready for seconds, business there, Steve. Yeah. yeah he's just composing himself. <laughs> yeah, he's had a little bit, little bit of stress uh, earlier on in the day. Play was something. Fifteen seconds. Things have been a bit more straightforward, though. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, uh, but I'll, I'll not say anything just since, yet. Since the match, since the match that no one will mention. Time. German Open 2024 presented by Sportrec. Men's round two match: Rafael Kandra of Germany to serve, Yannick Wilhelmi of Switzerland to receive. Best of five games. Love all. Well, there's a whole decade between these two in terms of age experience come through here or will youth prevail what are you going with Steve I was actually avoiding the question but <laughs> now that you've yeah. asked me again I'll um, you thought it was um, rhetorical didn't you yeah I thought you kind of forgotten about it if I'm honest with you <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go with a Kandra 3-1 I think Yannick has got the, the firepower and the, the confidence to, to pinch a game at least but yeah as you said, there's a there's a big difference between experience here, and um, I think that'll show. Hopefully, the crowd as well get a bit rowdy and get get a bit loud. Absolutely, yeah, got a got a back here German player in Germany, as they did with Beinhardt. Oh, what a reaction! See, watched her play as he was warming up, and uh, inspired by her victory. Lengthy, lengthy rally to open up. It certainly is, and that um, you just talk about the confidence of Wilhelmi. I didn't actually see him play no. yesterday, but One that, that was uh, very, very confident. That forehand kill. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was actually a, on paper. It was actually what I thought was going to be the trickiest match um, in the lineup yesterday. But he essentially dispatched Gamal really, really confidently. Yeah, and he's not an easy player to do that to, is he? Come out. Nice bit of touch there from Kandra, that boast. Quite similar players, actually. I don't, I don't know if you agree, but just in, in the way that cool they play, play the game, actually, in terms of technically-wise and maybe even just, you know, what where their strengths are, are quite yeah. similar. And stature as well. They both look for the volley. They're both tall guys, obviously. They're both... Um, quite powerful in the hitting where they want to be and they they hunt out those volleys try and take it early don't they so yeah, yeah I, agree, I agree with you there well, that's a clever shot but it didn't yeah, work lovely. out for Kandre he was all over it for Helmy Three nice low. little trickle boost at the front there
good to see people are starting to push up in the top uh, the top row of the balcony there. Definitely feeling a good atmosphere here in so Hamburg. We will me? Yeah, I think late, later in the week if they can fill Fall those, uh, those stands at the top, get that really uh, you know that packed to the rafters feel. Taxi there from Kandra to get to score his first four. point in this last 16 match. He yeah, really showed that forehand drop. He did. Down. Yeah, a bit disappointed with that one, Valami. It was a loose shot from Two Kandra. Four. He's quite deceptive on the on the backhand, especially being a, Three, a lefty. Four. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the last match went both crazy. I don't know if you saw much of it, but I think the court definitely takes a good boast, that's for sure. It does, yeah. It's definitely one of those ones where you have to be, you know, you have to go for them on this court, or you're not going to get the results. Yeah, great reaction. You know that he's got four. good hands, Kandra. That's a real strength point um, Yannick has at that, that, that sort of front four. kill, especially on the forehand. He, he really puts it away if, he, if you give him a chance. Yeah, it looks like he plays with no fear, really. Steps, on, steps onto the ball nice and early. He's got an attacking mindset, hasn't he? Yeah, definitely. Anyway, it's felt that Yannick's actually been in control. Yeah, a lot of this. I agree with you. Just, um, just at the first half of his first game, he looks like he's he's being a little bit more proactive, and he's affecting the the movement of Kandra a little bit more than the reverse. That's a brilliant <laughs> shot. That's a nice huge finish. Win it. Yes, please. That was a big, right yeah, a big roar. That was almost Six like uh, the central referee's position <laughs> at the start. <laughs> you sure? He means business. Feels like Kanja's being a little bit passive when he does take yeah. it in. It's almost sitting up a little bit too high, and, and Yannick's got six. that great technique where he can he can punish those those opportunities. Here comes the, the backhand lob serve. It's quite unique that from uh, Kanja. I don't think I've actually seen another player up. opt for that. Well, a few years ago, actually, James, James Wilstrop was doing it a few times at the Manchester Open, but it just seemed to be for, for one week only. Oh, it was, a, it was an exclusive? Yeah, it was an exclusive. It had to be there. Down. But Kandra's been doing it for a few years now. A few crucial errors here from, Seven, six. from Yannick. Like I said, I thought 
that he was sort of in control of this this game, but a few critical points have, have, have switched the, the momentum a little bit with Kandra. Yeah, definitely. You've got to keep turning the screw against Kandra if possible. You can't let him off. Look at the scoreline, he's still, still in a healthy position here. And out seven all. really controlling that T area. Trying to sort of restrict Kandra from stepping in front. He's doing really well at containing. Ooh. Shot to Kandra. Because I, I thought the shot, the swing was prevented. The contact was too big. Interesting. And eight, seven. Someone got a picture of that. Yeah, <laughs> just good. assisting the referee there, <laughs> where, where they want to <laughs> the the point yes to. Decision. Yeah, that would be uh, that would be a brilliant shot. That. Good, uh, a few captions on that one, I think. Well, yeah, it was quite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some entertaining stuff. Just both <laughs> pointing in the front <laughs> left is quite extraordinary. Yeah, I wonder, what, uh, have they noticed <laughs> something on the court that needs to be looked at? Or oh, yeah, no, there's, there it is. There's the ball. Yeah, one, one saying is a bit further forward than the other. Yeah, <laughs> I think that was it, yeah. So to Will and Me, decision overruled. Will and Me has two reviews remaining. And out. Eight all. Kandra's done very well here just to, to keep in within one point and just never really be completely out of the game here, has he? Yeah, true. He's just shown his experience, really. He's, he's certainly not reached his best level, but he's uh, in a good position. Did you ever play against Phil Elmy when you, when you were a junior? Not that I recall, no. Probably, yeah, probably wasn't a good. Probably wasn't good enough. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and out nine all. Did you play any other stars? Stars of uh, today? Uh, I did, did play Pat Rooney and I played Victor Kwan. Okay. In European individuals. And you obviously duffed both of those players up. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty pretty straightforward stuff. Ball for Kandra. Good nine. squeeze from the German. Earning him the one game ball here in the first. Yeah, it's been a bit interesting this one because it's it's felt like Yannick has been in control, but it's uh it's Kandra who's got the game ball. I think he was um Wilhelm, he was in control in the first half and then it just sort of he just had to lose his, his precision slightly. Kandra Sort of weave, weaving his web, getting into the match, getting into the first, making sure that he was careful with his shots. Down. I'll say that, that wasn't very careful. Send out. Very loose. Ten all. That. A play miss win by two now points. Now we find ourselves in a time break in this first game. It's a bit of a gift, that. It was. Very composed when he when he plays the serve. Even it's all very sort of you know, you know he's he's focused he's focused on this match, isn't he? 
Certainly is. So a game ball now for the Swiss in this tie break. Yeah, as I said earlier, I've not really seen much of uh, Paul Helmy. I'm pretty impressed with him here. That's really well That's straight. Really That's well a brilliant straight. shot. It's a brilliant shot. Just got past Kandra. And as quick as he is, he couldn't recover. So Wilhelmi taking that first game in the tie break, 12-10 in 14 minutes. He leads by one game to love. Well, it was a brilliant start here for, for Yannick in the first stage of this game. Kandra showing all of his experience there to shorten the gap and the points and just stay within one or two points. But then it was Yannick that really did take the, take the game by its... Um, with, with a lot of confidence there and in the last couple of points there. And he'll be very pleased to, to have, have, have navigated a quite a tricky opening game. And you can see the emotion there with that fist, fist pump. Paul, the mark of a true champion is knowing how to fight through and get the victory when you do not have your best stuff. Oh my goodness, he's going to get this. Oh, he's got it. Well, that is absolutely ferocious hitting from Oh, that is an absolute screaming bit from Al Shabagi. Well, it's a dream start here for Yannick in this second round match. Absolutely, can he keep it going? Can he? <laughs> you're, oh, you're waiting for my answer I there? Know, oh, I was pretending right, um, it was rhetorical, but no, it is. Uh, I need to work on that then, <laughs> the rhetorical questions coming at me. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah, I think, uh, I although the match, that first game was, was quite long in duration, I don't think it was too tiresome for, for either players? No. He's a strong mover, isn't he, Vilhelmi? Yeah, I just feel like Kandra's just not hitting consistently at the minute. He hasn't quite found his groove yet on that court. Yeah, he's got the one worked. down the middle, yeah. Just testing the reaction to one, no. Vilhelmi and failed the test this time. I do feel like that shot has kind of developed over the past few years. Definitely, certainly when I was uh, when I was on the tour, it wasn't used that much. It's an intentional shot. It was used occasionally, but now it, it's uh, it's a lot more prevalent. This is a brutal rally so far. Just it. Oh, just a little bit of interference there. One love. Down. Two love. Uh, Phil Kandra's wife, baby is out next to Oliver Pecker. Yes, sir. Too low. Yeah, just trying to uh, make himself thinner there, if that were possible. Yeah, tried to disappear. Yeah. It's always funny when players oh. do that. That was a great get. Very it's explosive gonna, wow. movement here. Oh, go on. He's going to go for the, the cross court nick there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I would like to see that lunge again because that no. was explosive. That was his maximum effort. What there. a get that was. And th this that, that next shot was the impressive one for me to, yeah, yeah. to get it straight from behind himself.
for Pandra. He's got, certainly got a lot of work to do here. So if he is going to get through this match, it's, it's going to be seriously tough. That's a great boost. Thank you. Yeah, it was always going to go in there, wasn't it? He just, just set himself up nicely. It's amazing how often they go in, especially when a player's got it on his four, his or her forehand and side. Yeah. Three, one. And almost just drops in. Gone a little bit loose here from Yannick. Just needs to straighten up again, find his width. There's the taxi. Yeah, it's quite a shot. I mean, took it out in front, didn't he? And just flicked it nice Four and low. One. Very clever shot, that one. Didn't see that one. Did well to get it back. Some tough movements here. Oh, wow. Just stayed in. Felt like he stretched the whole length of the court there, Wilhelmy. This is tight work again. Opportunity here. Oh. Yeah, well played. That was really heavy stuff there from both players. Very entertaining Without squash. Four. Players exploring every corner of the court here. Using all their physicality. He's fired up, isn't he? He Yannick. is. Obviously sensing an opportunity here. Feels like he's, he's playing well, he's backing himself. The movement is outrageous. Yeah, it's, it's powerful movements. That yeah, that's nice. He, you can see from there that just the confidence. You know, I know it seems on paper like an easy shot, the ball's dropping half court. Three, four. That is a lovely finish. Yeah, that, is, that just loses confidence, doesn't he it? He does. It does. A lot of players even today have been making errors on those kind of shots. Even there, just able to get himself Down. back in balance. That's unusual. But the previous one where he just lifted it. And out five and three. Very balanced. touch there. Wow. Some incredible, incredible retrieval. Stroke, here. Uh, stroke to uh, Kanda. He was ready. Yeah, he was all over that. <laughs> yeah, Yannick really does cover everything in those front corners, doesn't he? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, he's a big guy, isn't he? Some of the uh, six three. Some of the lun yes. lunges are breathtaking. It's quite elastic. It's like a rubber rubber band. Six three. Three. Snaps back. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, beautiful touch there from the German. Seven three. Very good response from Kandra here. Oh, just find the nick. Oh. <laughs> the touch oh, at the front, go on. Unbelievable stuff, isn't it? Both players all over the court. It's real action here. Oh. Well, he read it, didn't he? He read it. Perhaps just. Went a bit too early though in terms of going forward instead of just to the side and that maybe put off his movement slightly. And out four, seven. Sort of fell into it. Pretty much every shot was a was a cross court there. <laughs> or an angle of some kind, just no straight drives in a row. Yeah, 
these two are producing a really entertaining match here. That was well taken. Yeah. Again, yeah, yeah, just so, so confident and clinical. Five, seven. Another great shot, and he's so frustrated with himself because he's putting him in that area again, half court. And this Six is the man, as we keep seven. saying, with it's just losing confidence. The Swiss. Yeah, you can sense the frustration, obviously from the from the large shot that he just <laughs> produced. But other than that, you can sense the sort of urgency to close out this this game and draw level again. Well, it's crucial, isn't it? You can't let. Uh, his opponent, Phil Halmy, get away with this uh, this second game. Otherwise, he's going to get even more confident. Yeah. Frantic stuff again, but that was accurate. Time. The nick in the back corner there. And out. Eight, six. service is really is effective actually it can be yeah just can sort of flummox players a little bit just the angle of it from the lefty big GMC. Oh, just clip on the top of the tin he's made most of those in this match to be fair nine six Good pace that Yannick's putting on the ball here. Nice to use the height to reset the rally a bit. Oh, oh he got lucky. Deep drop in. Oh, he's apologising. I'm not sure how genuine it is, though, from Rafael Candra. 10 6. I definitely wouldn't apologise for that. <laughs> yes, right side. Game ball. Take it. Gonna take it all day long. Four game balls, then for the German to equalise. He's going to go for the cross court, Nick. But 11 6 uh, well, game to come up. Drive, Kandra, One game all. He's secured the second game, the crucial second game. But things are looking extremely difficult if it lost that. Kandra taking the second, 11 6 in 11 minutes. The score is one game all. Well, there's some tough, tough rallies. In the opening of that game, Kandra having to really sort of settle into this match, and there was definitely signs of frustration with Yannick taking all of these opportunities in when he can. But Kandra showing again all of his experience here to level up and a nice cross court fade to finish and close out that second game. Welcome to the squash court. Before we begin, make sure you have the right ball for your level of play. So this is the red mini squash ball, it's the bounciest ball and it's perfect for little kids who are just starting to play squash because it's very bouncy and give them more time to prepare them their swing before they hit the ball. The blue dot ball is perfect for anyone new to the game of squash. Unlike more advanced balls, the blue dot does not need to be warmed up to be played. The red dot ball or the progress ball is good for anyone who's been playing with the blue ball and is looking for more of a challenge. The red dot ball is smaller and less bouncy, so you have to work harder to keep the rallies going. For experienced players, the single yellow dot ball uh, offers a great challenge. The single yellow dot is the same size as the double yellow dot that we use on the PSA World Tour, but it has 10% more bounce. Meaning you can get used to the speed of the game at a more advanced level. So before you start playing, it is really important to check and make sure you're using the right ball for your level of play.
time. Back on court early. One game all. Well, not early actually. It was pretty close to the wire. Actually, the, the, the time coming back on court. Lovo. He's just trying to put a bit of life into the ball there. And speaking of which, the one of the players Down. will be able to ask for a change of ball, of course. If and out. After the one low. If they wish after the third. Would you have opted for the? The choice of a, of a new ball, even if you were winning, or what sort of effect does that have by asking for that new ball? Well, often it just just a bit sort of just fizzes out the packet a bit more, doesn't it? If you feel like the the old ball has been losing a lot of energy, it depends on the way that you play, I guess. I probably would have done a fair bit. I don't think the rule was there back in my day. Some tight, tight play down the backhand side here. Lovely finish there. Just above the tin. And up one Pinpoint two. accuracy there. Looking to try and get that, that taxi yet again from the, the previous games, but not not quite. Total parity here. Struggle this match. It was for a second between too soon. And Germany. Too. Spoke too soon. Pounced on that one, didn't he, Kendra? Sometimes known as the, the goalkeeper. He's so agile, isn't he, Kandra? He's very strong, isn't he? And he's a strong mover. The, the, the lateral movement as well is the way he leaps onto those volleys and the cross courts. But uh, as we keep saying, very impressed with uh, Phil Helmy too. Such strong movement for a big guy. Well, for any size, but you know, if he's six foot three, oh. God, it, you, you, you know. Even even if you're as trim as him, you're going to be you're going to be carrying a bit of extra weight. That is brilliant, rally. That is fantastic, fantastic stuff from the Swiss. We've, we've seen that and shot work both all. ways. Both players have used that against against each other, but that was that was executed really really well. Yeah, it was nice to watch. It was just the right amount of speed of, of wrist, wasn't it, through the flick. React to it this time, Kandra. Yeah, he's got to make those, hasn't he? He's made quite a few winners and uh, decent shots three. in this match, but he can't afford those tens. Well, I was just going to say that the, those are the sort of shots that I would back him yeah. quite confidently. You've obviously seen him a lot more than me over the years, but uh, just just from this limited knowledge, I'd agree with that. It's well taken. Yeah. yeah, the errors are starting to creep in now from yes. Wilhelmi. Got to try and cut those those out immediately. Really, this Five, crucial three. mid stage of the third. It's interesting the the similarities for me anyway. After watching Joel and Tom Walsh play, sort of a similar age difference and experience difference, but no let too far. The the pattern of the Maybe match is kind of following no that uh, the, a similar sort of path in this match. Sure. Where it's the experience is really the the lack of errors. What do you think about this decision? It's just, uh, yeah, I think that's a little bit harsh. I mean, j you know, w when you look at the speed of the speed of Kandra, he is in the line to the ball there. I feel it does sit up a little bit as well. 
but not deeming this is referee not deeming it. As one review remaining. And all out there. Hand out for five. Or so important, important unforced error in the progress of this game. Now it's bringing it back, back to parity. Back to parity. Nothing between them. Down. That's a good drive, good length there. It's a fist pump from Vilhelmi. Six five. It's really penetrating length here. Got good hands, doesn't he, Kanza? He does. Back to your point about the goalkeeper. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> yeah. I see where you get that. Oh, oh that was lovely. Beautiful shot. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it was and first um, thought of when he got to the semi finals of that British Open a few years back. Uh, it's got to be almost a decade ago, I think. In, uh, in Hull. Yeah, that was an amazing run, wasn't it? Yeah, fantastic run. I, th I think he was, he was either unseeded or he came from, from qualifying. I believe he was unseeded. Unseeded. I thought he'd done it again. Yes, that. Yes, that. Don't. Because he was off balance due to the contact when he played the shot. Yeah, but it was off balance due to the contact. Yes, Lit. Yeah, Kandra was very, very quick to, to make the referee aware of that. Yeah, as you can see here, he asks straight, straight, straight away. You see his hand go up. Right side, six all. Oh, yes. Seven six. Wow. Just faded into that side wall, and it? it was a really awkward one. Just shows that the, the serve can be very important in squash. People underestimate it quite often. Well, we saw in London. I don't know if you saw the um, Sid vs. and Gary match. Oh, that dive. Oh, oh, oh wow. Stop, going. stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Almost just landed on it there, didn't he? Unbelievable effort there from Kandra. Oh, incredible yes, service. Incredible athleticism there from the German. <laughs> it was almost like a, a slide rather than a dive, wasn't it? It was. No, it's ridiculous stuff. Absolutely ridiculous. It should have been a Thank top you. shot there, shouldn't it? Mr. Condra serving from the left side, Se left side, 7-6. I mean, the scoreline is just proving how well matched these two guys are. All the stats were sort of pointing in this direction, that it was going to be a, a close battle, and they're not disappointing. Down. And out seven all. Yeah, absolutely, just so hard to separate these two. Oh, great reactions. Down. Oh, he actually of us, please. He wasn't far off. He wasn't, wasn't that far back off at all. He just, just slipped at the last second there. Quite frustrating, I'd imagine. Unbelievable guess, wasn't it? Yeah, and he actually he actually got their first bounce, didn't he? Just couldn't couldn't get it above the tin. And up slip. eight seven. Could 
inches of height there to just reset the round a bit. Yep. Yeah, I think it did. Definitely just signed it. Just deviated Left a bit side. slightly. Watch closely. Nine yeah. seven. Yeah, it just popped up slightly. No need for the squeezer, as as trialed in the in the Optasian. With the racket there always looks pretty painful. I don't know if you ever did that, but I certainly didn't. No, it was definitely drilled drilled at me very very early on from my, my father. Three game balls here then for Kendra. Let's take a two one lead. Yannick to cover everywhere all at once. That's a nice shot. Very solid there from the Swiss. Yeah, he looked down and out in this rally, Nelson but he, he managed to switch the ball. switch the momentum to his side very quickly. Tight work, really eight. tight work there from to Kandra. Kandra, just looking back to the to German one. crowd, trying to get some inspiration. It's a very impressive third game from him. Well, unless we missed it, I don't think anyone has asked for a, a new ball. So Kandra takes the third game, 11-8 in 13 minutes and leads by two games to one. The Japanese call it Joss, fate. Well, Barrington uh, couldn't play squash <laughs> before he come to me, you know. Along the way, there are those chance things. You could never replicate what he's got because he's just within it. And it's up to you whether you make the most of it or you don't. Joan became more dedicated than I think any athlete I've ever known. It consumed his whole life. I couldn't see anything there that was so advanced and, and so difficult that it could prevent me from actually reaching up to them and getting better than them. I'd actually make him work like you wouldn't believe it. He'd still be there, <laughs> almost as if nothing was happening to him. We had his book on the bookshelf and uh, was just getting into squash and first thing I learned was that squash was no joke. It was hard work. <laughs> I can remember in my mind that I wanted to become better that was my target was to try to make a gap between myself and everybody else nobody should ever doubt this he liberated the sport of squash he single-handedly created the squash boom in the uk i can't go on court when i'm playing a tournament without talking to him on the phone first because just hearing his voice makes me have that belief i can beat anyone i just won't be carried off the squash court like he was <laughs> Needs a, a positive start here if he's going to have any luck Down. in pushing this to a fifth, and that's One not going to help. Yeah, just looking at Kandra's body language, he's looking pretty good now. I think um, it's a bit of a relief that he's got himself to 2 1 against an inspired opponent here. 
and he's got so much experience. Kandra. <laughs> might just push on now. Chulo. Yeah, it's clear that he, he's done his homework on Yannick. He knows how, how much of a threat he is. He's starting to cover a lot of the areas that Yannick was actually dominating in the first game. But it's, I mean he's, he's got to think to himself, OK, this guy's a brilliant mover, but uh, movements like that are going to take it out of him, aren't they? He's getting a lot of balls back, but... It's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a not, uh, another nail in the coffin, isn't it? When you move, move someone around like this. OK, Bill Helmers won the point in the end, but that is, that's got to hurt. Two. There's a lot of tough movements there. Yep. Three or four huge lunges there from the Swiss. Not up. That's a great shot. Just finding the nick there. Two all. Taken. Pretty casual, wasn't it? Yeah, very casual. Three, two. Difficult shot to execute. This high up on the backhand side. Great balance. He's very good at maintaining that strong foundation every time he plays the shot. Scrambling. Yeah, Kandra having to do uh, a lot of work now in this rally. That's well played. It was a well worked rally there for Yannick. Right box, 4 2. He's not going away, is he, the young Swiss? serve, the lob serve. Down. Nice shot. <laughs> Knew as soon as he played it, he just got the right bit of precision Four there. Roll. The right angle to get it into the corner. Make life difficult for Phil Helmy. Well, he's got a great weight of shot, hasn't he? He, he does. He, he, just, he just knows how much he needs to put on the ball to, to get it running away from his opponent. Yeah, his, his squash IQ is very high Five, when, he, four. when he gets into it, when he plays well. That was a, that was a pretty good serve, that. <laughs> I would have, yeah, I would have liked to have kept that one. It did actually die, didn't it? very active mover isn't he he's even when he's not in plays he's, he's he's making little small movements just keeping on his toes Kandra yeah that's yeah. yeah Kandra yeah that's just gets him ready to, to jump for those goals that he needs to save <laughs> Yannick, but it's a great yeah. boast. I think it was good. <laughs> great boast. Wow. Do you want to use a review to check it? Can you check it without the review? Oh, no, no. Trying to negotiate here with the ref. <laughs> Bit of bargaining. <laughs> That's a great boast. Just a little bit late on to it. Five or late reading it, perhaps. Yeah, I think that was good. Nothing in between except for the game. Down. Oh. 
Oh, that's a lovely touch, lovely straight and low there from Phil Helmy. 6-5. It's fighting hard here, the Swiss. Made yeah, it look very easy, wasn't it? Seven he's five. really trying to psych himself up a bit here and get him, get him fired up because he's, he's, he's by no means out of this match. Down. Nice well played. Good precision there from Kandra. About six and seven. Quite a few players there in, in the front row. Watching this match. Oh, that's lovely. Really took the pace Handle off that. Eight, six. He's showing in this match that he's got a lot of a lot of options. And he's very, very attacking when he when he wants to be. Lift there from the Swiss. Seems like a slight change of tactic of, of targeting that backhand of of, of Kandridge because first couple of games it wasn't really part of the part of the strategy for me anyway, seeing Nine, it. Six. No. No, and that certainly worked, hasn't it? Uh, at least temporarily. Great little hold there. Usually goes in and blasts it pretty early, but that one worked. Shot to me. Yeah, I had to make that. Those kind of shots have to go in. 10 6. Game ball. Well, it, was, it felt like at the start of this game that Kanja was going to be the be quite confident from the previous game and take it in three, in four. Sorry, but all credit to to Yannick, he's he's really pulled this one out. And he certainly has, and he literally has now. Taking, taking that fourth game and taking us into a decider. Yannick Wilhelmi, very very impressive from from the youngster. Kanja just not able to recover that ball at all. So Yannick Wilhelmi taking the fourth game, 11-6 in nine minutes. The score is two games all. Well, it felt like Kandra was really on top of it in the first couple of points of the game, especially off the back of the confidence boosting fourth game, third game, sorry. But Yannick really did stick in there and he fought through a lot of the the sort of solid squash that Kanja's been playing all night, but yeah, all credit to, to Yannick. He's he's taking this to a fifth, and he, he's not going away anytime soon. Juniors do look up to us, and if they see we're doing something wrong and we're getting by, by with it, what's going to stop them from doing it? And I already see it in, in the younger generations, and 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 Mustafa is only 21 years old, so it's not Mustafa who started that. Others, including maybe myself, I don't know. We've we've done things wrong, and we need to to change that quickly for the next generations. Even if we produce the world champions, but we're looked down upon by other by other nations, by other players, by our peers, by our by other coaches. Where is the fun in it? I mean, at the end of the day, we played this sport to be healthy, first of all, and all of this, but to be respected, to to raise our flag in the most appropriate way. Like, if we're not doing that then we've, we've defied the cause of, of playing the sport in, in the first place. So I think it's very important uh, to uh, realize that responsibility at a very young age. Time. Two games all. We limit to serve. Each player has one review available. 
Well, we thought Level. this match was going to be a close one. And they have not disappointed. It's been a great quality match so far. And I'm going to ask you the question. One low. Who's going to win this match? Um, I'm going to go with uh, Phil Helmy. Controversial. Controversial indeed. Um, but obviously I've got no idea really. What do you think? Uh, I mean, I'm just amazed by this rally at the minute because this is crazy stuff. It really is. It's all over the place. Oh, those players, that's a goalkeeper movement. This is wild. Oh, oh, he's on it. He was on it in a flash, yeah. and that's the correct decision. No Big complaint from Bill Helmy. Big applause from the crowd there. He needs he Good needs the support if he's going to get across One the line all. in this fifth. I mean, of course, I could be eating my words because Canberra's got so much experience, but there's just literally nothing in it. Oh, wow. Oh. wow. That's what you one. want in a fifth game, isn't it? Do you drop in? That just that winds up the opponent as well. And you're, you're not doing it deliberately, but, I mean, it does help. It's an absolute shocker for Valmi, but at least it didn't happen on match point. Well, don't speak too soon. Finish again, but Rafael Kandra is still getting it. Just resetting the rally again, going back to the yes, oh, back to the basics, but just a bit of interference there. Two one. Go on, Steve. You can't sit on the fence. Do you think I'm it's going to be Kandra? I'm still you assuming can't. it was a rhetorical question. I'm not answering. No, it's not. No. Just I'm going to go Kandra. Or not. You're going to go Kandra. I'm going to go Kandra, yeah. Kandra, yeah. I think both are quite possible at this stage. It's a great shot, though, from Kandra. He's got a uh, slight advantage here. 3 1. <laughs> yes, Ed. He could have reached it. 3 1. Been a pretty pretty clean match so far as well. There hasn't been too many decisions. Yeah, I mean, both players want to get on and play squash, don't they? They're, they're moving around each other. Some wonderful athleticism from, from both players. We want to see see no. that. We want to see some great squash, which we have in this match. Oh, oh wow, look that's... at that! What a beautiful bit of impro improvisation there from Kandra. Well Talk deserved. about the intentional shot down the middle of the court. Four Look at that for technique. I mean, where's that come from? It's almost like he was posing for the for the action, for the finishing <laughs> shot there, isn't he? Never seen that in a coaching textbook. Do you think it's a bit of an experience? Yes, here where there's not a lot of panic going on here with with, with Tandra squash. He's, he's quite composed and not forcing anything too quickly. Oh, I think it is so far. Yeah, with this uh, five-one lead here, he's, he got that bit of luck, didn't he? Then he's had um, five-one. I think the help of an error from Bill Helmy and and also a, bit, a couple of bits of brilliance. And here he is at five-one up. He's definitely very good at capitalising on opportunities that, that, that do come his way, even if they are, you know, fortunate ones. 100%. Down. That's brilliant. Service, please. That's brilliant. Well, Helmi's going to be just wondering what's going on here, but this is the, the dream start. When I say start, we're getting into the middle stage of the fifth. Wonderful stuff from Kandra. He does. He leaves everything on court, doesn't he, Yannick? Thank you. Two 
Left side, six, one. So cruel, such a cruel sport though at times, isn't it? You've, wor you've worked so, so hard and it's played some brilliant stuff here. It's not over yet, but uh, it's in a very, very difficult position here for Helmi. Ah, that's a great drive. It's just what he needed. And out to six. Good squeeze there. Well, this is a, a true testament where he can, that Yana can play well above his, his ranking, can't he? Now. Oh, he just went completely the wrong way. He went backwards, didn't he, first before going into the front left and, and out seven took two. his movement away completely. Oh, what a get. Are you asking Mr. Nolet? He's just holding that position like, like it's nothing, isn't he? <laughs> Uh, gymnastic movements here from, from both players. Eight, two. Down. Nine, two. Uh, finishing, finishing line is definitely in sight for Kandra. You can, you can sense it. Yeah, just uh, the mistakes are starting to come in now. That's a brilliant shot. Great finish there from Kandra. Ten, two. Match ball. Well, I thought I'd go out on a limb and uh, it's not worked for me. <laughs> no, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, to be fair, this has been a, a real drop hit from uh, Bill Helmy, unfortunately. And out. Three. But Kandra, ten, all, all credit ball. to Kandra. He's played some brilliant squash at just, just the right time. It's a fantastic fifth game for him. Not over yet. It's not over yet. Yannick is definitely Four a player ten. that really, really match does ball. not give up until until the referee calls the match. So can't rule the mic just yet. Not up. Uh, oh, oh wow. 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 Four. There. Four to improvisation up. there from Three games to two. Some brilliant stuff. That winner. Ten oh, twelve. Folly. Eleven six. Backhand. Drop 11, shot, 8, winner on 6, the final 11, point. 11, 4. The German crowd here, very impressed with uh, the efforts from their man. Kandra coming through, 10, 12, 11, 6, 11, 8, 6, 11, 11, 4. 3, 2 in 61 minutes, and he's going to have a word with Vanessa Atkinson. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, please, for Yannick Wilhelmi. Congratulations, he's a fantastic young player. I'm sure you've seen, uh, he's had a few scalps already this season against higher ranked players, so certainly no complacency on your part coming into this tonight. Well, um, yeah, as you said, he is one of those upcoming rising stars at the moment. I mean, the whole Swiss team, they have a really good, strong lineup. Um, European team championships coming up uh, in a few weeks, and uh, yeah, we, uh, we might face those teams. And I mean, Yannick, as you can see, he almost, he almost got the scalp at the Grasshopper Cup at his home soil. And I just got over it and I just got this into my hands. And I mean, these those matches were maybe in the end the experience, maybe like a little bit more the, yeah, I don't know, maybe the, the home court here feels, feels like kind of suiting my game as well. I did a few errors today, but I mean, that's kind of normal, natural to the game. And uh, he did, he played well, he played amazing. And I think we, we got a good match tonight. And talking about that, um, that home advantage. Uh, fantastic uh, for yourself and for Saskia to have the German Open on the calendar. You've had uh, challenger events in Germany, but this is the first time uh, you know, a PSA event of this size has been held here. So fantastic for you both to be able to showcase all the hard work you put in against, uh, in front of your home crowd. Yeah, so I, I, I want to thank Bart and the German Squash Federation for setting up uh, finally a big event in Germany. As you said, like we had a few small tournaments. We always have the Nationals here, which is like kind of a 
I think it's a really good atmosphere for a national championship. But I mean, to play a big event like a bronze event, maybe next year a big event, who, who knows? I mean, we are really lucky to, to have a setup like this, and I hope there are many more tournaments coming up like that. Well, you'll have um, another chance to showcase your skills tomorrow in the quarterfinals. It's instead of um, Germany v Switzerland, it's Germany v Egypt tomorrow. Um, Saskia taking on Salmahani, and you'll be up against Mohammed El Shabini. So another treat for these crowds. For sure. I mean, I'm, I'm very pumped for tomorrow, and I think Saskia is as well. She's like in the flow at the moment. I'm trying to get into the flow now, as it was my first match. But I know I'm, I'm, I still feel good. I'm, I'm, I mean, everything works well. It's not like kind of something we, we can expect when, when you're getting older, when you've been on tour for that long. I mean, what can I tell you? Like your husband is still playing on the <laughs> S40 40 plus, so he's amazing to see that what, what's possible today. And um, yeah, I'm trying my best tomorrow and see how, how far I can go. Looking forward to it, ladies and gentlemen, Rafael Kandra. <laughs> paper this match promised to be a really t really tight affair and it did not disappoint it was nip and tuck for for most of the match and there really wasn't a um, one you know one-way traffic from for the whole match but Kanja showing all of his experience uh, to dispatch Yannick in five is, is is something that he'll be very pleased with and something that helps him shake off any any nerves or cobwebs that he has going into this event ahead of his next match against Shabini tomorrow are the results of the day. Gina Kennedy coming through in three against Aina Amani. Quite a comfortable win there for her. In the first match of the day then Yao putting on a very impressive uh, performance against Daniel Polishuk coming through. Tina Hillis the number two seed in the women's event coming through a tricky first game against Dominguez but then coming through in four in her match. Bernat Jauma coming through against Marmol al -Shibai. Very bad tempered match, but uh, Jauma obviously coming through in three in that one. Naila Hillis, number one seed in the women's event, coming through against young English English prospect Tori Malik, who played a good match. Another, another person played a good match was Tom Walsh, who took a game off Joel Maker, the number one seed in the men's event. You can see how much the, the crowd appreciated that one. Tom Walsh, who managed to take out James Wilstrop and then uh, Saskia Be Beinhardt coming through in three against Cindy Merlo. You can see how delighted she was, very much deserved. And then that brilliant final half volley shot winner from Rafael Kandra. Another German win there going through to the quarterfinals against Wilhelmi. And there's the, uh, the roundup for tomorrow. Kennedy against Abu Alka starting at 12. Central Kumar up against Yao at 1 o'clock. Tesney Murphy up against Tinegillis. That'll be a good one. Steinman against Jauma. Naila Hillis up against Malak Kafagi. Joel Makin up against Timmy Brownell. Saskia Beinhardt. German interest up against Salma Hani and Mohammed El Shabini up against Rafael Kandra. Another in Egypt versus Germany match. What's your pick of the day there, Steve? Oh, good question. I'm actually going to go for the Joel and Timothy because I've, I've, I've really enjoyed watching Timothy play over the past few few weeks, so I think that'll be an interesting match. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I think he's, uh, he's, gonna, he's got a good chance. There's no pressure on him there. That'll be a fantastic match to watch. So join us tomorrow at 12 o'clock noon, local time. We'll see you then. <laughs>